Have you used AI today? I'm going to give you my three steps to make LLMs or large language models like ChatGPT, Claude, or Gemini work for you and your professional workflows. Let's jump in. I start with Claude, which is my go-to LLM. Simply hover over the right side, go to projects, and then you see you can either create a new project or work on an existing project. Mine is called Podcast Summary Blogs. Here in the Knowledge Center, you can upload documents to refine or fine tune the LLM to your specific needs. So for example, I started with a collection of blogs that I had previously written to give it a sense of my tone and structure. At that point, I ran a query and I said, two parts, always start your queries with urgency and instruction. First, this is super important. Please help me. We ask it to write, use the attached documents, write a summary style guide to help the LLM write like me in the future. Then the second paragraph is more specific. It is the five W's, who, CEOs and vice presidents, what, responsible for corporate strategy, where, in the Bay Area, mid-sized companies, revenue 500 million to 2 billion, and why, because they're trying to understand the abilities and risks of AI in their business and their industry. Then as we go forward, it creates a second window where it outlines what I just shared with it. Now, the benefit of that is I copy that and paste it into a Google Doc because I want to add a little more fine tuning. Let me give you some examples of fine tuning. Paste in the LinkedIn bios of some customers or prospects. Second, when you're asking for a headline, make it grab your attention and be optimized for SEO. You want your document, whether it's a post or a blog, you want it to be searchable. Tell the LLM that. And then at the end, LLMs suck at closing. Tell it how to close. In my business, I say close with what the Berkeley Innovation Group offers. And I give it an example. This is called reinforcement learning. Then back to the LLM and we put in our prompt. Please write a LinkedIn post about the use of AI in your organization. How does it know to do this? Because I've uploaded the blog style guide and I've uploaded examples of previous blog posts. And it gives me three bullet points that I can refine to add to LinkedIn. Now, is it great? No, it's definitely going to need some work. Because for example, in today's rapidly evolving business landscape, my BS meter has already gone off. I'm not sure about yours. Seeing what Claude has produced, let's look at what ChatGPT would generate. So I copied the prompt from the previous window and just asked ChatGPT, please write a LinkedIn post about the use of AI. But again, it's not in my voice because it still has the BS meter going off in today's competitive landscape. And what it ends is at Snowflake, Snowflake? Hallucination. This is why the third point is so important. Keep humans in the loop. So to wrap, the three steps to get ChatGPT or any LLM to work for you today is first, give it clean data. Second, existing models are commodities. The value is in fine tuning. Give it examples, give it a style guide. And third, as we saw from the ChatGPT response, keep humans in the loop. This is the thesis of human-centered AI. It's not going to replace people, but it certainly can augment us. For more insights like this, follow our YouTube channel, Big Innovates, or visit our website, biginnovates.com.